Okay, hey guys, what's up? Sermon 11 here with my review of Hunter Hunter episode 85. This was awesome. This was straight up awesome. Um, a lot of things happened in this episode, and I'm going to try to keep this brief, but it probably won't be. So anyway, the episode starts off with, uh, I believe Gon and Killua are remembering their different masters and how some of the hunters uh, haven't really been pro-hunters. Well, Kite's the only pro-hunter that they know, and up, up until this point, they, Killua doesn't consider some of the pro-hunters that they met in the past to be pro-hunters. It was kind of weird. And then, um, like, they're still following the lion guy. It's, it's weird. I, his name's Hagia, right? He looks like a tiger, but he was a lion in his past life. That's weird. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going in random order, but Kite gives Gon his father's um, hunter license, and he basically forgot to give it back to him. That might be key in the story, I don't know. Togashi is a really good, really good mangaka, really good writer, I would say. So, something like that might be might come in to play later in the story. Also, um, so, Neferpitu, the cat-like ant that was born last episode, I think, or the episode before that, she has a ceremony in which she gives Nin to the ants that can handle the pain. Uh, she has Ramalt punch them, and he's just going crazy. She leaves the ceremony, and she senses Gon, Killua, and Kite, and Kite senses this. She's on top of the ant chimera ant nest her her leg muscles are insane they were so big and I'm pretty sure she just makes one big jump and she just comes right towards them Kite's telling Gon and Killua to run and they don't run right now and he gets his arm cut off and that's just like half of the episode and I'm just like whoa what else is gonna happen um, so they get the heck out of there. I'm like, kill him. He got out of the, he got, he nearly got out of the NGL in like five seconds, but I'm pretty sure it took longer than that. But he was out of there. Um, and then Kite, his slot thing spins and he gets a different weapon. Now, I'm going to talk about what happened at the end of the episode, just so I don't forget. Nefer P2 killed Kite. Unless Kite can make shadow clones, Kite is dead. Dang. Um, maybe he's not the master of this arc. I would say Kite's not dead, but I, I'm not sure. Togashi is just a mangaka who creates characters who he can, he can just kill off in that arc. Like, he doesn't even care. Um, I, I would say that's good storytelling, but sometimes I get attached to the characters, and I thought Kite was going to be their master. And I thought the way that he was going to teach them was they were going to learn while in a fight. And that was the way that he was going to teach them. And so at the end of the episode, we have Colt and Neferpitu just chilling out. And it looks like there was a huge fight, but her um, Kite's head is in her lap. And then she's just like playing with his hair, you know, like a cat would do. And that, oh, that's so messed up. Um, So after that... Killua, he's nearly out of the NGL. I think he went back to the tree where they first entered it, and he calls up Dinner and basically Kite's crew. Like, Dinner's the only one I remember. The other one's names are kind of confusing, I guess. Uh, I didn't remember. They weren't that important. I was kind of thinking earlier in this arc that those guys were going to get eaten. I didn't. I don't know if I said that earlier in the arc, um, earlier in my reviews, because I'm not too, too sure how many reviews I did of Hunter Hunter. So, um, next, they have some, they bring in re reinforcements, and these guys are in the opening, so you should probably have already seen them. We have the chairman and two other guys, and there's one guy, he had like a huge bat or something on his back, I don't know what that is. It looks like it might be a pipe or something too, I I'm not sure. But it's wrapped up, so we'll see eventually. And then we have the one guy in the suit. And basically, they come in and talk to Killua. And Killua, he gets... The guy's just, like, talking down to him the entire time. Because Killua says something like, he felt... Oh, yeah. 
when uh the whole situation with Nefer P two and her aura, her nin, Gon felt it and Gon Killua they all felt it and it said the screen just said malice. And then Gon just starts powering up. I'm like, whoa, is he about to, you know, like over uh, overcome her nin? And he he doesn't. And then just uh, Killua knocks him out, and he just gets out of there. So I, I forgot to add that part. Um, so Killua's saying like he felt the nin, and he knew they couldn't handle her. Um, and then the guy was saying that basically you don't know until you try. That's a better way to sum it up because he was given a long explanation and there's no need for that and then the dude in the suit was trying to stop him he was a little bit nicer um and then the chairman they're leaving and he throws uh he throws Killua these two pieces I think they, they said something but I don't think we really know there are two assassins waiting at the nearby village and I'm pretty sure that's his dad and his grandfather and I'm guessing that if Kite's dead these two are probably going to be their masters, and I don't think this is going to be a quick training process. It's probably going to, we're probably going to be there for a few episodes. We'll see more of what's happening with the Chimera Ants and the Chairman. We'll see if maybe we'll see if Kite's dead or not. I, I don't know about all of that. Um, if Kite's not dead, I would say Gon and Killua are probably going to rescue him with their new powers they learned from Killua's grandfather and father. But if he's dead, he's dead. Because, I, as I said before, Togashi just kills characters off. Like, you know, there's no tomorrow. So, we have Gon and Killua about to be trained. Now, Killua's already been trained a little bit. He's an assassin. Maybe this will make Gon and Killua even faster or something. Teach them how to sneak up on their enemies more. And Killua, I think just like throughout the entire time, he was just thinking like, they've been kind of overconfident. And... I think that's partially Kite's fault too. He's trying to get them to train as they're fighting. Sorry about that. Thought I was about to get cut off. Um, as I was saying, I think Kite's a bad master. He's trying to get them to learn while they're um, on their journey. And this whole, the whole situation, Wing, I would say he taught them enough for them to do good in the Heavens Arena tournament or whatever and uh, we had Biscuit who taught them a ton of techniques and then they tried to d beat the game. I, I think both of those masters did pretty good or pretty well and I just think Kite kind of messed up there even though they were kind of pressed for time he could have done something I, I don't know. He could have at least tried to train them a little bit <sighs> Um, so where'd I leave off? Uh, also, I was thinking, like, did Killua kill Gon? Because he was, like, knocked out for so long. I'm just like, um, you don't know how much force you hit him with. Uh, is, is Gon dead? What, what's going on there? So, I think this is the, how it's going to go. Um, uh, let me think about this. The the chairman and the other guys, the reinforcements, they're going to the NGL. They're going in and they're going to fight the Chimera Ants. Um, that's kind of what I predicted from the opening. And then just kind of what, what I've seen so far, Gon and Killua, they can't handle this and they haven't had any training. Um, and then we have Gon and Killua, Killua carrying Gon to the village. And yeah, Gon wakes up. And I'm pretty sure it's... Is killed was grandfather and father. That's like the only assassins we know. Pretty well, kill was family, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be going his father or grandfather. And um, let me see. Yeah, I think that's about it. Cause you know at the end of the episode, uh, P two is chilling with Kite's head. And yeah, this series is getting darker and darker. And I know it's kind of censored because. Um, Last week, Pokal, the dude, the archer dude with the, the the Nin arrows, he shot Nin arrows, and he was um, under the pile of bones and stuff. He, um, in the manga, Neferpitu is just picking his open brain with uh, more than two of the ant antennas. So 